Praise the Lord. Welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. Now with me here today. Minister Brazil. Amen. Amen. Please like, share, subscribe, Life in the Word. Yes. Amen. Let someone know we are on. It could be a word to bless them today. So please share the word yes. as you come in. Amen. We've been talking about God of the second chance. Yes, Lord. Amen. We've been in the book of Joshua 22. We last left off in verse 5. Amen. And it says here, verse 5, Only be very careful and diligently observe the commandment and the law which Moses, the servant of the Lord, has commanded you to love the Lord your God and walk in all his ways and keep his commandments and hold fast to them and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, mm. your very life. Yes, Amen. Lord. So Joshua is speaking to these men that was helping their brothers on the other side of the Jordan. And as they're leaving, they're having some emotional detachment. You have to understand as they serve and they fought in battle with their brothers, Amen. That they, there's a connection that yeah. took place. Amen. Yeah. After serving in battle, there's an emotional connection, yeah. especially when you've been helping and you mm -hmm. built relationship. Because yeah. this is also about relationship. This is also That's about good. connection. It's good. It's good. That now you're leaving to go back home. Mm -hmm. So there's a quite a bit of sadness to this. Yeah. Amen. There's some things you've learned. There's some relations you formed. That's good. Uh, with those you fought. Uh, in battle, your compadres, yes. amen. And there's nothing like when you fight side by side with your brother and sister, amen. And you yes. and you develop a, a, a relationship that lasts forever. We can amen. say, hey, we came in not knowing each other, but now we can say we are brothers. We can uh, say we are sisters. We can say we've been proven to fight in battle and know that I have your back yes. and you have mine, amen. Um, but Joshua is blessing them and giving them a word of blessing as they leave to go back to their home, to love the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. amen, um, and to serve him and to obey his commandments and hold fast to him, right, to yes. serve him with all your heart mm -hmm. and your soul, amen. So there's, there's some two things we see here, with your heart and with your soul, yes. amen. So you, that heart is your mind. To serve him with your mind. Yes, Lord. Amen. We could be in church, but we're not serving the Lord with our mind. Yes. We're not meditating on the Lord. We're not thinking about what can we do for God. Mm -hmm. What can I do to please him? Yeah. You know? And then in our soul, we're thinking about other things. Yes. We're yes. thinking about our own dreams. Is it wrong to dream and to, you know, um, work on the things that you made a work mm -hmm. on? No. But when that takes and consumes your soul. Come on. Where God is absent and God is no longer yeah. there. When men and women, come on, are taking your soul, you allow these men to come in and yes. women to come in and all the things of this world to come in. And God is saying, no, you have to be also in your soul. Mm -hmm. Your soul, what is your soul? It's your inner life. Yes, Lord. I have to be in your inner life. Yes. I have to be in the realm of your soul where where you are existing and your mind is focused on other things. Yes. I need to be there. I need to be what, where your emotional attachment is. I need to be there. Because yes, sometimes we are attached to the things of this world. Yes, we are. We're attached to what we see. We're mm -hmm. attached to what we hear. We're attached so much to our friend. Mm -hmm. We're attached so much to our family. But the Lord is saying that I need to be in your inner yes. life. And guess what? And when your soul then compromises, it's hard to serve the Lord. Yes, it has. Yes, it is. Come on. Mm -hmm. When your emotions have been compromised and you can't focus mm -hmm. and you can't Come on, coming and getting up to, to go to church and being in the presence has become difficult. Come on, sis, something in your soul that has been compromised. Yes, that's good. There's something else that has come in. Mm -hmm. And this is where we have to hold fast onto the Lord and serve Him with everything. We are in a, in a, a time where everybody's coming, but we're not really serving. Yes, that's good. Yeah. We're in a time where mm -hmm. we, we're so much um, just coming to church and filling the seat. And we think that's that's all it is. But are we serving with our soul? Yes, yes. Are we really truly giving God every part of us? Mm -hmm. Every part of our being. Every part of our thoughts. Every part of our thinking. Are we also giving Him our ways? Yes. And say, Lord, I'm putting down my way. And I'm choosing your way. Yes, yes. And that's difficult. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes. That's challenging. Mm -hmm. Come on. Where you, like you said, that's humility. It mm -hmm. takes humility to say, Lord, I'm choosing your way. Yes, yes. Come on. The Bible mm -hmm. said there's a way that seems right onto a man. Mm -hmm. There's a way. There's a way. There's a way that seems right onto you. There's a way, yeah. But it, eventually, it says that it leads on to death. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
It leads on to separation mm -hmm. from God. Yes. When you're chosen your way. Mm -hmm. When you picked up your own attitude instead of the attitude of Christ. Come on. Come on. Because Jesus on. was obedient all the way to yes, the cross. All the way. All the way. Come on. He lived a life of complete obedience. Yes. Come obeying the God and what he told him to do. Jesus said, I say what my father tells me to say and I do what he tells me to do. Yes, yes. He's been obedient. Come on. Can we have the mind of Christ? Yes, Lord. Come on. And endure mm -hmm. the cross. Mm -hmm. Whatever your cross is today, whatever your struggle, whatever is heavy, mm -hmm. whatever is challenging you, yes. can you allow the Lord and his way to be yes. in front of you today. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Joshua blessed them. Verse 6 says, So Joshua blessed them and sent them away. And they went to their tents. Mm -hmm. So Joshua is now give, gave them a word to go back home and to have this in their mind. Yes, yes, yes. Because you understand, they served. Oh, come on. Come they on. helped. They mm -hmm. fought. They seen hardship. Mm -hmm. They've seen battles. They've seen things to discourage yeah. them. They gave all their, their energy, their resources to their brother and sister mm -hmm. to the point where they were empty. Yes. They were challenged in their relationship with them. Guess what? They've given every part of themselves. But now as they go back home, Joshua is charging them. Yes. He's charging with the word of blessing and reminding them mm -hmm. who God is. Who God is. Yes. To love him. To mm -hmm. serve him. Come on, come on. To keep him. Yes. Because yes. Israel promised that there were other idols. Yes, that was their problem. Mm -hmm. Their problem were idols. There were other things to take away their worship. Come on. Problem. Whatever mm -hmm. is taking your worship is an idol. Ah, come on. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Whatever is taking your worship is an idol. Yes, it and is. that could be from anybody to anything. Come on. That could take your worship. If it's taking your time, if it's taking your energy, if it's taking your soul, if it's taking anything away from your walk with the Lord, that could be a potential idol. Yes, God. I yes, want you to God. say something. This is good. Because you started off saying... They had to leave because of the connection they had with them in fighting with them, yes. being dear with them. Give them a connection of, of love more. It's a sad moment when you have to leave someone. You, yes. know, you understand? When you finish God's work, you got to leave to go to your house. That makes a connection when you can fight a battle next to a sister or brother, whoever it is, for the right. Lord. And then when you said they have to love the Lord with all their hearts and all their souls, that just fighting alone tells you how much God is good to you. Yes. This gives them a relationship closer to God because of the closer connection God kept them. Mm -hmm. And not only kept them, he blessed them to go home. What a love. Yes. So that makes you think about the goodness of God. When you were saying that, you know what I see? You ever see how something is branded in your soul mm -hmm. or branded on you that it, the mark cannot go? Yes. This is what they did. Yes. They remember God and remember what God did for them. Yes. And as you said, these days people don't remember God got them out from a lot of stuff. Yes. And they're treating God like God never branded them. Mm -hmm. They treat God any anyhow. Because it's not in they don't love him with all their soul and their mind. Yes. Because I know if you have somebody who really loves you, you will love them back no matter yes. what. Yes. Always thinking about them. Always want to do something for them. Yes. Always, your heart is always thinking. You think about that person more than you think about yourself. Mm -hmm. People might understand, but when you love something, yes. it doesn't matter what nobody else thinks. You will give God back everything. Yes. So when you're in the house of the Lord, you can never say, or oh, you don't have no reason to praise God. All you got to remember is where God brought you from. Yes. And this is what happened with them. Yes. You understand? God brought them a, a mighty long way because, as I said, they didn't have water. They didn't have stuff like what we had right here. But they were grateful for the connection. Mm -hmm. That's a love. Yes. To love your brethren and to, to give them the last shirt on your back and to have their back. Yes. That's love. Yes. That's great love. That's great love. And, that's the, and that was just a demonstration of how we should love God. Yes. Even to the ultimate level. Oh, I like you that. Know? I like that To word. the ultimate, ultimate level. With your life. Yes. With your very yes. life, yes. The, the Bible said to love the Lord thy God. You've been bought with a price. Yes. Your life is a price to the yes, Lord. God. This is why we have to live our life and really truly God live it for God. Us, God. And say, God, take over me, consume me. <laughs> my God. Consume my life. Whatever is not of your of you, mm -hmm. whatever is not of your way, Lord, consume me. I want to live this life totally onto you. Come on. Because mm -hmm. sometimes life 
gets rough and yes, life gets does. tough Come on, talk and we don't side. have a second and chance to serve God the yes. way that we need to serve mm -hmm. God the, as these brothers were going back home to, to their inheritance and enjoy the things that God has given them they, Joshua is blessing them and charging them mm -hmm. and letting them know remember what God remember. has done remember love God hold fast to him we're coming to we're coming to God but are we giving him our life yes are we giving him our total life onto him mm -hmm. we remember when we first come to God mm -hmm. we were on fire we yes, are hungry was. for God we, are, wait. We, we, we didn't mind giving our life yeah to the come Lord on. come on now as years go by and hardships come and things happen to you and things have come to challenge you now we're wondering is this really something i have to do now this is why joshua is reminding them yeah. to take bless come on to yes. take heed remember god remember his way mm -hmm. yeah. follow him truly trust him with your life yes Lord. trust him in the toughest time mm -hmm. times when you don't understand times when you don't see the way lord i trust in you Trust and you. I acknowledge you yes. in every single way. Mm -hmm. Keep your mind focused on the yes. Lord. And Joshua is blessing them as they go back to their tents. Amen. Amen. We're going to leave it there. We pray the word bless you. Yes, you are encouraged. We pray that you follow the Lord in his way, his commandment, and what he is calling you to do. Love yes. the Lord your God. Amen. Put him first. Amen. Yes. My name again is Mr. Emmanuel Renee Jr. Not with me today. Mr. Brazan. Praise God. Please remember Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord.